Okay, so this is a little tutorial, like not much of a tutorial. I'm just going to point you in the right direction for how to create a static IP and a Lambda add uh, a Lambda function. So I just followed this guide, which I will link in the description, but the guide is pretty good. So it's actually going to have you create two IPs, but anyway, so I followed that guide. And then the only thing that tripped me up was the last thing, which maybe I should go here. So they say this part, configuration, choose VPC, all that stuff. So we're gonna go configuration and then yeah, VPC, it's already set up. But when I click save, it mentions something about not having permissions. So I went to my I am user to add those permissions, but that is not the role that you need to add those permissions to. So you actually just need to, so with every Lambda function, which I figured out after doing this, with every Lambda function, it's going to assign a role. So this role name right here. So you're gonna click on that role and then that's, where you're going to add the permissions. This one right here, AWS Lambda VPC access ex execution role. So that is not going to happen on your I am user. That's gonna happen on this role, which was created for the Lambda function. So I guess every Lambda function gets its own role, which is kind of interesting. So yeah, to add that, then you're just gonna like add permissions, attach policy, and then search for that there, and then add, a, add permission. And then the other thing that was kind of weird was in the documentation, um, they have you set up two IP addresses. So this, these are the IPs where th those are your public IP addresses. The Lambda function is going to come from, and they recommend attaching both of them. But if you attach both of them, then the Lambda function can come from either IP, which I just want, I need to whitelist one of these. So I just need it to come from one of them. So when you go here to VPC, then it has you click both of the private ones. But yeah, since I just want, and this is, yeah, they, so they, we recommend that you choose at least two for high availability mode. So I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna do that, but the, I'm using Storm Proxy and they only let you whitelist one IP, I believe. Maybe there's a way to get around that. Maybe I'll ask them that, but for now, I'm just gonna try that. And so then if we go here and look at it, and to get this, I'm using, to get the IP, what IP I am on, I'm calling loomtest.com slash myip.json. So that's coming from 54, 203, 220, 82. So then if we go back to the NAT gateway, which is available in the VPC dashboard NAT gateways, then yeah, 54, 203, 220, 82. Then if I update my Lambda function, then this normally will trigger a new IP address. So this cross your finger should not be a new IP. It should just be 54203. Boom. Yeah. So thank goodness. And that's it.